Hey everybody, it's Jeff again. I'm here with another quarantine art class and we are doing something fun this week while we're in quarantine. We're picking themes for every day and we're changing the themes daily. Uh, so today is a Christmas theme. So I thought I would teach you guys how to draw the Grinch. Yay, Grinch! You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. So I'm gonna start with I'm just gonna go right into the eyes, his creepy sneaky eyes. So we're gonna do two ovally egg circles, like so. And then we're gonna give him some mean sneaky eyelids, like so. And then we're gonna do some big hairy Eyebrows. Oh, I like those. You like those, eh? Yep. Okay, cool. Scary. Does furry. everybody have their hot cocoa while we're doing this? Get some hot cocoa. Get some hot cocoa, because here we go. All right, now we're going to make them look into the side. Ooh, I like that. And we're going to give them a little grinchy nose. It's starting to look like Jim Carrey a little bit. <laughs> All right, now we're going to give him some crow's feet, because he's always wrinkly and furry and he's got the big I bet all the grin. moms out there would object to that I think <laughs> you have to take those suckers out <laughs> <laughs> oh neat so it's kind of like I like the line for his little snout there yeah he's got that creepy grin good now job you, oh, thank you <laughs> good job Jeff okay now we're going to give him some shape to his face. I'm going to bring his mouth around here. And those squiggles are like his fur. Huh? Yeah, he's got some green, lots of green furriness. Like Chanel has white fur. Yes, our cat is very fluffy and furry. Now I'm just going to move him down a little bit so I have more room. Okay, now we're going to do his Santa hat. We're going to make this more like clouds, kind of puffy round circles for the cottony feeling of the Santa hat. Now Good we're going to bring the top over and down. A couple fold wrinkles right there. Oh, I see. He's folding over. And then we got our big puffiness down here in the bottom. And we're just going to bring his shoulder up. Makes him look very sneaky. Like he's up to no good. And there we what have it. What are those it. lines for right there, Jeff? This is his Santa coat here. Oh, I see. And then this is the other side of his shoulder here. And then what you can do is once you get your lines in, you can just go ahead and start doing your favorite colors. So now even though you're doing this on the iPad, if they're doing it on paper, they can start, like you said before, in pencil, right? And then, yep. and then um, erase any, you know, it's common to make mistakes and stuff like that. So right. erase any of those and then go over it and then color it, right? Right. So oh, neat. So I picked a pencil. It kind of makes it look like a crayon coloring. I just want to fill that in. It's easier for me because I can go underneath the lines, but usually with if you're using a crayon or a pencil or a marker, it shouldn't bleed into it very well, very badly. So it should be okay. And always ask mom and dad before you draw on anything. Yeah, you might want to put a piece of paper underneath the first paper if you're using markers. Gonna quickly color this in for you. Let me give him some yellow eyes. Oh I yeah. I love his yellow eyes. That's great, Jeff. Thank you. Glad He's you like it. He's very encouraging today. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dressed in our Christmas outfits. We got our Christmas music on. And the elf's here. Buddy the elf. Yep, Aiden's dressed as Buddy the elf. Jeff's wearing Griswold Family Christmas. I got my Grinchy hat on. Andy's That's an elf. Yellow enough. And I don't know where, Kay where, oh, Kaylee's got hers on too. She's got her red and white on. So, we're trying to make the best of it here at home. Jeff thought it might be fun for you guys to, to draw a little something, have a little art at home while we gotta go through all this quarantine. Still make it fun. That's yeah. right. Sometimes you can leave a little white space and it makes it look like a highlight. 
like the light is hitting his cheek. Maybe like his lip has a little bit of shine on it. So you leave a little white space. Just, it makes it look like it's a little bit 3D effect. Even on his eyelid, you can leave a little bit of white space. It makes it look like it's coming out a little bit. Like it's rounded kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah, a little shine on the nose. Whoops, that didn't come out very good, so I can erase it. These iPads are amazing, and this program I'm using is called Procreate, and it's, I believe it's free. If it's not, it's very cheap. So if you have an iPad, I highly recommend this program. You can make some really beautiful art in here. And at the end, I will show you the quick video time-lapse replay of it. There he is. Yay. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Share with your friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.